truck, I'ma spin a block for you, turn the vision to the money, and my whole spot for you, huh? You ain't even got a truck, I'll be back for you Anyway, yeah, I'll travel across the map for you Tell it busy, I know you don't want a broke nigga Run the rats up first, then a load with you, you can... What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Desi Renee I'm back with another video I am back, y'all, I am back Listen, I just want to say thank you guys To 100 subscribers, y'all We finally made it to 100 subscribers And y'all still showing love I just appreciate y'all, I really do for the celebration of my 100 subscribers, I am going to be giving y'all a Q&A so y'all can get to know me because, you know, for the most part, if you don't know me, um, you don't know who you're subscribing to. You don't know who this girl is behind this camera or on this camera. I'm going to make sure that I give y'all the content that y'all deserve, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let y'all get to know me, get a little insight of who I am, what I do, how I feel. You get what I'm saying? Like, just let y'all know who the girl is because it's just Desi Renee, like nobody else. You got to know, you got to know what's T, what's T, what's T. I got a list of questions that um i okay so y'all so i made a poll on ig basically telling people you know to ask me questions for the q a and i put them into my notes and listen y'all listen i got me some good questions we gonna get it popping we don't get into it y'all gonna know who it is like who the girl is who is she like for real like who am i you know what i'm saying Y'all know about it. Y'all know what life is for real. First and foremost, if you know me, you know I love sweets. I love me some sweets, baby. Period. Cavities left and right. But it is what it is. The first question is, how old are you? So I'm 19. <laughs> I'm very much grown. So don't try to look girl at me, cause if you do, you gonna find out real quick. And that's just point blank and period. Big 19, not the little one. Next question is, what is your real name? My real name is Sterling. S-T-E-R-L-I-N-G. I just want to put it out there because I don't think that's on here. Like, how did you come up with your YouTube name? My mama basically um, came up with it. I basically just expressed to her how like how all my friends and family had nicknames and I was the only person that did not have a nickname. And period. I love my name by the way. It's just I was kinda getting tired of everybody calling me by that. It was nice to just like it's nice to have somebody call me something else other than my name. You know what I'm saying? Or if from if somebody is to ask and I don't want them to know my real name, I could just say Desi. It's Desi. And it fits me, so that's just what it is. Next question. What is your birthday in Zodiac sign? My birthday is January 6th and I am a Capricorn, one of the best signs in the world. Please stop playing. <clears throat> Excuse me, so if you are a Capricorn. Yeah, yeah. What is your relationship status? I am very much single. I do not go with anybody, do not tell my name to nobody. I, um, and that's just what it is, like, you know, single. That's it, that's the answer. Do you play or have played any sports? Ran track and I did cheerleading. I ran track for only like two years and I did cheerleading for most of my life. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Um, I don't know if anybody's noticed, but my favorite color is very much blue. You know, blue. It's either blue or purple, but mainly blue. Do you have trust issues? If so, why? Y'all trying to get nosy. Y'all trying to get deep with these questions. Like, who told y'all to ask all of that? Like, oh, he's kind of cute. He's a murderer. But he's kind of cute. Why? Are you in my business? Don't be in my business. Truth be told, I do have trust issues. I have major, severe trust issues. The reason why is I've just been done wrong in the past. My uh value was tested my love was tested a lot of stuff was tested and i feel like i was coming into a lot of relationships or you know friendships or whatever trusting people wholeheartedly and then them coming around and stabbing me in my back so yes my trust issues are terrible i don't trust you no more you lost it you lost it how old were you when you had your first kiss <laughs> i might have to do the math for that one i was i would say i think i was like 
14. I think I was 14, child. I didn't have no business. I mean, I did because my mama knew I was with that person, you know. It was my first little boyfriend. And, you know, it was just like one of those things, like a quick little, you know, we weren't making out, doing the most. That's it. Favorite food. I love me some seafood. If you know me, baby, I will chow down. What? I love me some crab, you know, love me some shrimp. All that good stuff, like I love it. Now, ooh, excuse me if my, if my eye look a little lazy or something. It's these heavy, it's these big, gigantic, ginormous behind lashes. I didn't have none when I originally was gonna record this video, but I was looking a little rough. Um, so I had to put something on, okay? So if my eye look a little lazy, baby, it's cause they look heavy, that's it. What makes you happy? Getting paid. That check hit. That's what made me happy. It just motivates me. Like, it just brightens my day. Like, knowing that I have more money in my bank account. Like, that just makes me so happy. I, and another thing that makes me happy is being by myself sometimes. Like, you know, just being in my own little space, in my own little world, just in my little phone, or when I'm resting, you know, chilling, vibing. That makes me happy. I'll be happy, you know, in my own little world, not being bothered by nobody. Happy. What is your most tomboyish memory? Well, this room used to be a patio, and when I was younger, me and my younger brother Eli, we would come out here, and it would be like little lizards that would come in, and I don't know why I was not one of them girls like ill, but so I used to catch roly polies. I used to catch lizards. You, we used like sharpened sticks and like we would like cut the lizard in half. I, listen, please don't. This was in the past, was so many years ago, many, many years ago. Um, I would never touch a lizard now. Like I'm so girly now, I could never. If a lizard crawled on me, I'm losing my, what? Yeah, but before, Oh, girl, before I was catching roly polies, picking up beetles, cutting up lizards, like I was that girl. I was that girl. Like, stop playing. Tomboys to the T. What is something that you learned this week? Something that I learned this week and that's been sticking with me is people are not going to be there for you or support you until it's popular. Like, that's just what it is. I was just talking about this this morning, my brother, but, um, and I'm kind of learning that with this whole YouTube thing, like starting YouTube. Until I'm getting 10K views and a whole bunch of subscribers and everything, people are not gonna be quick to be on the bandwagon to repost my videos. People are not gonna be quick to be like, oh my gosh, you know, Sterling, you done posted this video. That was so lit. Like, I love watching your video. Blah, blah, blah. People are not gonna do that. They're just gonna watch from afar, you know, watch and hate or do whatever it is gonna do. They're not gonna support you until it's popular. What made you wanna start a YouTube channel? I started a YouTube channel like when I was in like fourth or fifth grade. <laughs> I had started a YouTube channel and I had just stopped. Like over time, just with life and everything, I had just stopped it. And a couple months ago, my brother was like, Sterling, why you won't just start a YouTube again? And I thought about it and I'm like, he was like, cause you done got older. Like, you know, you can do more. You can put out more content. You know what I'm saying? Like, why won't you start YouTube? You could really be big on YouTube. And that just really inspired me and motivated me. And I was like, you know what? You right. Like, why not? Like, people tell me all the time, you got a personality for it. You should do a YouTube. You should do a YouTube. But I feel like it really took for him to, like, tell me. So, like, for him to see it in me, like, wow, okay. You know, I, I don't heard it enough. I need to start one. So, that's what made me want to start a YouTube channel. Do you believe in true love? If you know me, anybody that knows me for real, y'all know I am a class A romantic. Like, I just love love. I feel like true love is very much possible with the right people, with the right things, situations. I just feel like you can fall in love with anybody. If y'all click, y'all, if y'all vibe, if y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's possible, you know? So I do believe in true love. I believe in the, the roses, the flowers, the, the wedding, the kids, the whole nine, like, Picky fits, you know, nice house. I could just see it being successful, getting money together, like true love. We love each other. You don't love nobody else like how you love me. I believe in that, I really do. You just gotta find the right one. But this day and age and this generation is terrible. Like, no, it's not popular to be loyal anymore. So 
I don't know. It kind of could mess up people's hope, but for me, I just know deep down inside, like, I'm going to find somebody. What is one thing you can't live without? My phone. Not this one, but the one I'm recording on my phone. It got my password, my cards, everything on it, like, every contact. Something that happens to my phone, I'm not going to be able to survive without it because what am I going to do? I'm my bad, y'all. So I had somebody call me, child. I had somebody call me. All right, y'all. So, so I'm sorry the angle is messed up. Um, back to the questions. Um, what triggers you to cry? Seeing other people cry makes me cry. That triggers me to cry because even if it's just a movie or if I'm at a funeral and, and I don't even know the person, if I see them crying, I know why they're crying. Like I can feel their pain. So I will start crying. Like, and I don't, half of the time, I wouldn't even know what I'm crying for. Like, I'm not even sad for real. But I'll be crying because you're crying. You know what I'm saying? So I don't like to see, I don't like to see other people cry because it makes me emotional. So, yeah. Um, let's go to hell. Go to hell. What was your longest relationship and how did it end? My longest relationship was almost four years. Um, the reason why we broke up is because he cheated. What is your biggest goal that you want to accomplish? You know, like, my goal is just to be happy. Like, to be completely happy and financially free. Do you plan on living in Florida for the rest of your life? If not, where would you move? So, no, I do not plan on living in Florida for the rest of my life. I do plan on moving to a different state as soon as I can. Like... When I can and I know I'll be good when I move there. I got a couple of them. I would say, I don't know why, but even if I just stay there for a couple of years, I want to go somewhere where I would be able to experience um, winter, fall, summer, spring. Like, I want to experience it all. Um, but yeah, I said I would want to move to like Ohio or like North Carolina or California, like somewhere, somewhere, Georgia. Like I would want to move to different states. Like those are different states I would want to move to. Um, Maryland, I would move to Maryland. New Orleans, wherever that's at. I want to move, I'll move to New Orleans. Louisiana, yeah, it's Louisiana. I would move to Louisiana. Cause I don't know, I just love how like the culture there is just, just yes. So I would, I would, I would, those are the places I would move. What was the most awkward date that you've been on? I gotta really think about this. Cause when I was typing this out, I had it in mind and now I cannot think of it. Dang, what is the most awkward date that I've been on? I know it, but I can't think of it right now. Uh, I cannot think of it. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So, it don't finally came to mind. Won't, let me get this out of the way. Because that just looks terrible. Okay, y'all. So, it just came to mind. The most awkward day that I've been on. So, I was going on a date with someone that I have, I've known, like, for years. And um, we dated, like, a long time ago. Long, long time ago. And we were just, like, you know, just going on a date just to, like, catch up, see how each other were doing. And he wanted to take me to this restaurant. And it was this restaurant that, like, we've eaten to together before. So it was just, like, a nice little, you know, like, we finna just go, you know, chill, talk, catch up, and eat, right? So while we're on the date, you know, uh, the waiter comes. It was a lady. And she comes to ask us, you know, for our drinks and what we want to eat, what da 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 So our drinks come out. The lady comes and brings out our drinks. So and we're talking. We're chit-chatting, da 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 and so, like, I'm sitting like this. Like, I'm sitting facing him, and he's like this. But the entry for people to come in, like, our waiters and stuff to come in, they would be coming in from behind me. So I wouldn't know who it was until they walked up to the table, right? So he like, oh, uh, here our food comes. So I'm like, oh, like, I'm getting excited. I'm getting ready to take my jacket off, you know, so I can get comfortable and so I can get ready to eat. Why when they put this person put the food down, I look up and it's this dude that I used to talk to. <laughs> it was this dude that I used to talk to. He was the sir, like he was the person bringing out our food. Like he was one of the servers. So like he locked eyes with me. I locked eyes with him because he was just texting me like previous, like, oh, I want to see you, I want to chill, da da da. And I never replied to him because I was not interested. Like 
Like, you ain't nobody to be sitting up here trying to go and hang out with. Because you talking about hanging out, baby. You ain't trying to hang out. You ain't trying to be taking me out on, on dates and dinners. You trying to do other stuff. And I'm not on that. Like, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So, it was just funny. And it was a coincidence. Like, you just texted me this a couple weeks ago. Have not seen him since then. Like, over a year. And then we come to this restaurant. And he just happened to be serving. So, he looking at me like... And I'm looking, and I'm, like, trying to, because I don't want the person that I'm with to, like, realize, like, you know this nigga, like, and he dropping out, he putting out food on the table. I really hope that who I was with don't know what I'm talking about, but, yes, like, someone I used to mess with was my server, and it was so awkward after that, because I feel like my face told it all, my face be telling it all, y'all, and the person I came with, he knows me, like, he knows me, you know what I'm saying? So he probably just like, what was that? And so when I, I hurry up and left, like I was hurry up and leaving and he was still paying for the food. And I'm looking through the window and the, the dude comes back, the waiter comes back and like they chit chat, chit chat, chit chat. But when the person I came with came back out to the car, he didn't say nothing. So I'm like, I hope he did not tell him like, you know, like I used to mess with her, da da da, like trying to be messy cause niggas be messy, like dudes be messy for real. So it was just like so awkward. Like that was probably the most awkward date I've ever been on. Cause I'm like, oh my God. Like what are the odds? Out of all people that could have been out with. And then he looked over at the person I was with. And I'm like, I really like, I don't really care. But then again, it's like, he's seen it as like, oh, this could be her boyfriend. She dating, we just catching up. Like it just, it just was all wrong. It just didn't look right. Like the whole thing just didn't look right. But Ever since then, I've been real cautious about, like, when I go out to eat with people. Like, if I'm not trying to kick it with you, I'm not really trying to mess with you for real. We're not finna just be doing no catching up dates, baby. If you want to catch up, just talk to me on the phone because I can't do no run-ins. I can't be running in, running into nobody no more. I just can't afford it. Like, it was not good for my mental. I felt like I was just caught. Like, I was doing somebody had no business. And it's like, I don't owe neither one of them any type of loyalty for real. But it was just a matter of, you know what I'm saying? But yes, that was my most awkward date. That was actually a good question because it really took me a minute to think about that. But I was just like, dang, that's what it was. How many tattoos and piercings do you have? So I have a total of one, two, three, four, five on this side. And I believe it is one, two, three, four, five, six on this side. So 11, total of 11 piercings. Um. And then tattoos, baby. I probably done lost count, if I'm being completely honest. But I got this one right here, this one right here. So that's two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight. Then I got nine. Five, ten. Um, ten. Oh, and I got another one. Eleven. Oh, and twelve. Oh, this is a separate one. Thirteen. Oh, and 14. I think that's it. So, yes, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, so I got a total of 14. 14 tattoos, man, and 11 piercings. And I would have had more because I had originally got the industrial, but it did not heal right. I had got the stragus. I had two nose piercings, and I had some, but I had to take them out for my job but it's okay. And I would have, I would have had more tattoos as well, but with my job, it's like a, a certain amount, you know, that can be shown at a time. And all the rules and regulations, try. but it's all right, because eventually I'm gonna get yatted up. And I'm talking about yatted up to the point, sleeve, like full blown, excuse me if my elbows lash. Full blown sleeve, you know what I'm saying? All in the inside. I'm gonna get my neck tatted up. Alright. I'm gonna get a whole another sleeve, a whole leg sleeve. Like I don't wanna finish my sleeve on my leg. Just period. 
I would get some more like on my side, like add more to my back. Like I would be tatted up for real. I really would. Um, but yeah, and with my piercings, I would get all my piercings that I had previously back. And I probably would get that one that's right here in the middle of the lip. I would get that because I think that junk is so cute. Like it go right there. Mm. But yeah, I know that one part of the question, but yeah. What's your goals for you two? Um, my goal is currently get to 1K subscribers. I want to get to the goal where you get monetized. My goal is what I have. Ooh. Yeah. So that is one thing. I just want to get to a goal where I can start getting monetized. I'm gonna move up here, John. So next question, who do you rely on most for support? My mama. I don't care if the whole world did not support me. If, like that's somebody, if if she's supporting me, I'm good. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm good in my decision. I'm good in my choice or action or whatever it is. As long as she's supporting me, I'm good. What is my favorite dipping sauce? Buffalo sauce. You know me, I put buffalo sauce on my chicken. I put it in my salads. I dip it with everything. I don't like any white sauces like ranch, blue cheese. I don't even like whipping cream. Like anything that's white, I don't, I I can't. I just, I don't know. Cottage cheese, anything white, I just, no. Not even white icing. Like I don't like, I don't like, I just don't like it. I don't know. <laughs> But my favorite sauce is buffalo sauce. To answer your question, sunrise and sunset, it would be sunset. I love watching the sunset when it get late in the in the evening, and you go to the beach and just hear the water and just watch the sun go down. It's the most peaceful thing ever, especially when you in the clouds. Okay, best feeling in the world. What is the song that sticks with you the most? Hold on, what he said? Monday, Monday, Sunday, Sunday, you know why she running. But it can't be. What? What? Time spread, cream shine, and bright as you. I swear it's true. What? <laughs> that is a song. Boy, that John stay on my mind. Love me some Rod, baby. Whole separate playlist just for the Rod Wave. What are you saying for real? I love Rod Wave. Oh, okay. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you, girl. What is your favorite quote? Um, the one that's on my spine. It's my favorite quote. Your pain today will be your strength tomorrow. That's exactly what I got tatted on my back. Are you mentally ill? It depends on who's asking. Am I right in the head? No. But what I say, am I men mentally ill? I don't know. I wouldn't consider myself mentally ill because that's not nothing to joke about. And I don't like whoever asked me that question. And I'm gonna figure out who asked me that question because you trying to, what are you trying to say? Huh? But I've never been diagnosed. So I'm not sure if I am mentally ill, but um, I'm not right in the head. So. Okay. What's your dream date? A date where somebody that I really am attracted to, that I like, I'm feeling, plans out the date. I'm talking about plans it out to the T. Plans out what he want me to wear and end up looking good on me. Plans out the entire day, you know, picks me up to a nice restaurant, nice vibes. We conversate, we talk, we chop it up. And then, you know, he walks me out of the restaurant. We get down from the restaurant and we go like to the beach or something, like late night to the beach and just walk on the water and just hear the water. And then like, we like, we walk up and it's like something like music playing. And he got like the little thing where they be having, like they have somebody come out and it decorate like that's the, the area for you. And it has like painting, like, on the sand, like just you, you, I hope you picture on to my, but like you need candles everywhere at the beach late at night, candles everywhere with somebody playing the music, like the violin or something, like something romantic like that. And he like walks up to like, you thought the night was over, like this is for you. And we like sit there and we paint late night, like 
And then after we do that, we go home and, you know, go to sleep, right? <laughs> if you had a choice, what would it be, sandal or tennis shoes? Oh, sandals. What is your opinion about sex on the first date? My opinion about sex on the first date, I, I prefer that sex would not be something that's even mentioned on the first date. I feel like on the first date, you're really genuinely trying to get a feel of that person and get to know that person, and sex just clouds your judgment. Like, they could have just been doing good on that first date. Oh, we all laughing, giggly. Oh, you agreeing with everything. We just matching, good vibes, good vibes, all the way up to that date because they know they finna get some butt later. You know what I'm saying? Versus somebody just being true and authentic. Y'all do a couple dates, and then y'all, you know what I'm saying? Boom, shebang, bang, bang. You know, now I don't know. I don't know. I can't really, I ain't judging now, but that's just my opinion. And last question. Could you see yourself holding a man down in jail? <laughs> Depends on the situation. If we've been together, you know, years previous before you get locked up, I could see myself holding you down versus I'm not going to be no pen pal. Like we done met each other in jail and then you done got sentenced to 10, 20, 30 years. I'm not going to do it. Hey y'all, it's me, Desi Renee. I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Um, I don't know why I didn't do an ending, but please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Please put your post notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. You don't want to miss out, y'all, because y'all already know y'all would like to watch. So make sure you put the post notifications on so you can see what you want to see, period. Um, <laughs> new videos will be coming out soon. Most definitely, your girl will be getting her camera soon. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And I love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. Right